What the heck is that? Hey, Namaskar, everyone. How are you? Hopefully, it... Whew. hopefully everybody's been doing fantastic. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. I hope you're going to stick around. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Now, as always, welcome back means we are on another adventure. And that also means that you're going to want to know where we are and what we are doing. Well, my last video that you watched, we were in West Virginia. I was actually in Chester, West Virginia. We're still in West Virginia. I followed that Ohio River down, and we today are in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. So came on down a little bit further than, than the last video. What are we doing today in Point Pleasant? Well, we're here for a festival. They're celebrating the Mothman. So if you're ready for today's adventure, I suggest you get off the couch, you get ready, and let's go. We are right here. Right here. That is fantastic. Gotta go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at all of them. I think they're ready to pick my ass. Harden saliva. You're okay. You're okay for watching my channel. Why are these? God, Mamma Mia, look what we got. Shh. I said there's people still sleeping, calm down. We're gonna go, we're gonna go. I told you she was afraid of bridges. Do not, stop it now. That is the starting point of the trail. I, I guess, I don't know. You can start at the beginning or you can start at the end. I don't think it matters wh where you start at, uh, but wherever you start, that's your starting point. <laughs> oh shit. That's why I tell you, if anybody's looking for an HJ, this is the spot. Take a sip. <sighs> History. Better Malange. So yes, Point Pleasant is celebrating the Mothman. They have a Mothman festival down here. It's going to be crazy busy. Um, I'm a, I'm, I'm kind of close, but a little. I don't know. I'm in. The, I'm, I'm happy where I park. Um, I wanted to come down here a little hour, about, about three and a half hour drive. But uh, if you don't know what the Mothman is, um, you, you, you're with everybody else because not uh, it's still a question of what it is and who it is. Uh, that A lot of unanswered questions. But uh, everybody should be into cryptids by now and know what a cryptid is. Um, Bigfoot, Jersey Devil, uh, Fresno Nightcrawlers, uh, Flatwoods Monsters, so you, you know, and there's many more. The Mothman is in that category, and he's he's one of the popular ones, uh, to be honest with you. Um, described as looking like a person, but a little bigger, a lot taller, usually around seven foot tall, has like a gray appearance, no neck. Um, wings and then his most terrifying uh, look about him is these red glowing eyes that was the Mothman now the first sightings of the Mothman uh, I would have to take you back to 1966 November 12th 1966 there was five grave diggers working um, not in Point Pleasant, kind of out of out of town, a little bit. Um, they were working at a cemetery, and they noticed something jumping from the trees um, into the air and such. And uh, it actually, the creature actually came down and swooped by him, flew past them, and uh, described as a man with wings. That was the description of that. November 14th, 1966, a couple days later, Newell Partridge, um, sitting in his house, watching TV, and uh, his TV started going a little, little wonky, started get, uh, started a bunch of static. I think it eventually blew, the tube blew in it. Uh, then he noticed something outside, he was looking outside, noticed some red lights out by his field, and then he heard a 
a whining, a loud whining sound. So he went outside to investigate and went out onto his porch. Also, his dog was with him, Bandit. And what the red uh, objects were, were actually eyes from the creature. Uh, Bandit ended up taking off and running towards the eyes. Newell went back in to grab his gun. I don't think he went back outside, just to stun, to alarm, whatever. But Bandit did not come back. He never returned. November 15th, two married couples were driving around. They were on a little double date, I guess. And they were over by the uh, TNT area, which... Uh, if you don't know about the TNT area, that was a World War II ammunition storage um, facility. They were these cement domes. Um, There's quite a few of them, and uh, they would store the old uh, dynamite and stuff in them. And it was a place where, you know, kids, uh, you know, hung out <laughs> as as they do. They're, they always find a place to hang out. But they were on double date driving down the road and they seen what appeared to be a man standing on the side of the road as they got closer they seen glowing red eyes and then it shot up into the air the driver took off they sped he was probably doing a hundred plus on the way back to town but the creature kept up with the car came down swooped over went away, come back down. So he was keeping up with the car, 100 miles plus. Um, when they got back into town, uh, or close to the town limits, uh, the creature stopped following them. They were actually scared. They went to the sheriff's office and uh, made a report. So on November 16th, they had a press conference because the, the sheriff believed them. They were startled and all the other reports that were come in, uh, it was something to talk about. They had a press press conference about it, uh, kind of getting told that, because there's a preserve uh, right by the TNT area, they were kind of getting told that what you're seeing was a large crane, a large bird. Um, the papers put out a, a, an article about it, um, and they called it the Mothman. Um, now, everybody kind of believes they called it the Mothman because of the 1966 Batman uh, comics. And, and that, was the, that was the good ones with, like, Adam West in it. Um, they had a, a, uh, they had a um, character called the Mothman in there uh, in, in the comics, in the books. So on that same day, but in the evening of November, November 16th, Mrs. Bennett and her family, they were going to visit another family farm uh, that they knew. And upon uh, arriving at the farm, they something startled them. Either the car startled this creature or whatever, and they seen this creature stand up. The glowing red eyes. Mrs. Bennett was scared. She had a baby with her. She actually dropped the baby on the ground. Everybody was okay. The, the, or the baby was okay. We should say that. Um, they got into the house. Um, and I think for quite some time, the creature was peering in the windows. And he was actually kind of like stalking or mocking uh, the families. Now, Mrs. Bennett, she was the one case. Because there has been cases that people had mental breakdowns upon seeing this creature and such mrs bennett would be one of them um years and years she had problems because she said the creature uh would visit her home um on occasion and also in her dreams so she had a lot of mental uh problems with that so yeah after all this after all this uh, articles went out and, and, and everybody was finding out about the Mothman and such like that, this area became like like ground zero between Point Pleasant and, and the TNT area. It, it was really ground zero for the Mothman. Uh, but like I said, that TNT area, 
you had the cement domes, there would be tunnels, there was there's forest, so a great hiding spot, uh, but it also came with the plague of more people coming around here hunting and looking for the Mothman. So, and, and it, it, really, it really plagued the town, uh, not only between the people and stuff like that, but the creature itself for, for over about a year. So that takes us to December 15th, 1967. So, you know, a little over a year this has been going on. Somebody's seen the creature hanging on the Silver Bridge. Um, I believe the Silver Bridge, it was about 700 foot long, I believe it was. Um, it collapsed. Suddenly just collapsed. Um, I think, I want to say, I believe it was 46 people lost their lives. Two were never found. Um, again, investigate. Some people say that, that, that the bridge itself needed repaired or whatnot. Uh, but most think that the Mothman had something to do with it. Either he was a prophecy of something that was going to happen, or he was the reason that uh, the bridge collapsed. After the bridge collapsed, the sighting of the creature was, was no more. It was just like it disappeared. It just like it was disappeared. But that is our adventure today. I kind of wanted to get uh to everybody if you didn't know about the mothman and that was just a that's a basic that's just a basic thing about the mothman of what happened you can really delve into it there's a lot more stories a lot of in-depth uh interviews and such but uh nice backdrop right but yeah point pleasant we're gonna head into downtown the roads are all closed off and everything there should be some murals to check out there's the mothman statue of course, it's a crazy thing because everybody wants to touch the butt, the shiny hiney. You'll see what I mean when we get out there. Um, I think it's going to be a good time. It's going to be busy, but uh, let's head out and you'll see. This is just one of the parking lots here. Um, it gets crazy busy. Yeah, I think I paid 15 bucks to park, but uh, if I would have been here a little earlier, I probably would have got street parking. But, uh, oh, hey, look, there's a kitty. Looky. Look at the kitty. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's running away. Maybe he spotted the Mothman. But yeah, let's uh, get into town and uh, let's check out this festival. Well, we're making it a little bit closer. We are downtown and we're where the streets are blocked off. So we know we are making the right uh, decisions of where we're going. Over there is the old state theater. You can see a line. I think... I think they have hay rides uh, going around. I'm not sure, but I think they do. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting down here. But check this out. Welcome to Point Pleasant. That almost reminds me of of Mars, Pennsylvania, um, with all that uh, stuff. But yeah, we'll keep we'll keep walking down, and uh, yeah, everybody's uh, starting to show up and come around. You got a trestle in the background there. Yeah, it's going to be crazy busy today. Always look around because you find these different uh, signs and buildings. Huh. Okay. Wow, check out some of these buildings. Look at that. The Iron Gate restaurant down here. All the ivy growing on the side right there. Very cool. Trussell is over there. Oh, she's going to be so excited. Look at that. Yeah, that's where we're headed into. Yeah, you can you can come down here uh, without the festival and see everything, and it won't be crazy busy. I've been down here where there was nobody down here, and you can have everything yourself. But a lot of, uh, a lot of different signage as well. And there is the sign talking about the Silver Bridge collapse but yeah there's the mural of the silver bridge and what is that that must be who uh who painted it 
Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Here's some uh, other signage. I told you they're they're all scattered all around around town. So stop, read, pause. You know what to do. How you doing, buddy? All about West Virginia this uh, Where are you from? this week. Youngstown, Ohio. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're close. Yeah, three three and a half hours. That's close, I guess. Anything over five is a little distance. What? <laughs> Building across the street. Here's the old theater. Ah, uh, the old state theater. Look at the marquee on that. Very cool. Yeah, I like that. I wonder if that works still. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Almost, uh, almost like the Foster in Youngstown, but different. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. All right. Yeah, there's one for Android, one for iPhone. Put them in the Look, you got the Canon Park. With the Flatwoods Monster, Mothman, that's awesome. I like that. That combines every cool thing all in one picture there. Oh, you know what? Uh, Let's see. Yeah. Mary Cryptids. I like that. That's definitely one of my favorites right there, Flatwoods Monster. Check this out the Hodag car. <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. The Hodag, another cryptid. Look at that. That's great. That's awesome. Chasing the, uh, chasing the family around. Fear the Hodag. That's great. That's awesome. Actually, he has a tent set up. We'll go check that out. But look across the street. I tell you, always look up. Look at the buildings, man. Look at the facades up top and everything. That's just awesome. Oh, here we go. Check him out. Probably some of the best shirts around you're going to find. Uh, crypto Theology. And he got his Mothman stuff out today. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah, Mothman. <laughs> Randy Savage. And there's his new stuff right there. What's going on, man? Hey, Jim. <laughs> yeah, how you yeah, doing, man? Good. Good. There's the. I, I seen that. Yeah. Yeah, those are awesome. Yeah, those are awesome. Those are great. That's great, man. When'd you get in? Yesterday? Yeah, I came there. in yesterday and been doing stuff with the Hodag store, so all right. they're taking care of all my goods. Yeah, I, I always got to promote your shirts, man. Those are like the, the best shirts ever, man. Love it. Looked Love like it. you had fun at Squonka Palooza, huh? That was cool. That was that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. Hopefully that continues, man. That was a good time. Me and Lisa decided we're going to. So are you? That's all, that was a, yeah, so that was a real good time. Probably in the next month or so, we'll have announcements and kind of get the ball rolling. Yes. That's awesome. On to the I, next one. I see this too. I, I posted this on my personal Facebook. Yep, that was just announced. A little closer because I'm, I'm from Youngstown, so I, okay. Loveland's a little closer from where I'm at. I yeah, I'll talk to you in a little while. For me, but I'll be there because that show's awesome. Yeah. All right, man. We'll talk to you in a little bit. All right. Thanks, buddy. All the Hodag stuff. This is great. Yes. And that one's 30. What? stickers. I might have to get a couple of these. I think we found the real Hodag right here. Check this out. It's the Hodag. Hey! How you doing, buddy? That's awesome. We found the real Hodak right here at the Mothman Festival. Enjoying the festival? Uh, you know, can I get on it? All right, riding the Hodak. 
<laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Check these. Uh, I like they look vintage, man. Like the vintage pennants. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a pretty neat art right there. And what is that? Join the moth, man. Yeah, I, I dig the graphics on some of these. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Moth for men. Flowers, moth. I might. My sister. And you got the whole outfit going on. That's that. I like that. That's awesome. <laughs> Check this out, an old retro game room. I think this might be one of those places where you pay a certain amount and uh, you can play for so long or whatever. Right off the bat though, look, Napoleon Dynamite. Freaking awesome. Got the original Star Wars up there. Yeah, check it out. Very cool. How are you today? Good, good. Let's see what kind of cool stuff we got in here. I think we see when I was walking yesterday, we seen her with Dorothy down over in Chester. Flatwoods monster, that's awesome. I like that. Anything with cats. There he is right there. The man of the hour, or the it of the hour, because we don't know anything really about. That's neat. And you can buy the small prints. Very cool. This is kind of new. I don't think I've seen this one before. Jelly Co. Kind of reminds me of one of the festivals. Yeah, very awesome. I think, too, over here. Oh, that's a cool. I like that right there. That's a nice shirt. I think over here we I, they have the good guys. Camp Crystal Lake. Yeah, those are neat up there. And yeah, that's right there. Men in Black. Yeah, that was another thing that I didn't mention about telling you that the town was plagued with with a bunch of people coming here and a mothman but the men in black the men in black were harassing uh some of the residents here to not to talk about the sightings and what happened but check this out these are like those circus banners the old circus banners Bonks. how you doing man hey what's up how you doing not too bad yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, just getting started. Just getting started. It's gonna be a nice one. There's the jackalope. It's a sharp day. Yeah. Yeah, I like those back there. I, I like that. The old circus. Oh, yeah. The old uh, freak show. Travel and carny. Yep. Hey Rube. <laughs> yeah, they have some nice shirts here too. Those are awesome. Wow. Flatwoods. All you wanted was a Pepsi, right? Just one Pepsi. Pepsi. Just one Pepsi. That is, of all the remarks that I get from the shirt, that's the one, man. <laughs> that's the one. What's happening? Good, good. These are awesome. Thank you. Oh, wow. Check this out. Got the hearse. I think they're electrocuting people over there too. Check that out. They are. 
Oh man, that must be the guy right there. <laughs> Hello, peace, sir. Helping electrocute people over there. No, they're cooking my meal. Ah, okay, I got you, I got you. I prefer tartar, but I've got to give them something to do. <laughs> great, great. Red eyes. Who are they? Yeah. Because every ATM in town is out of I can imagine. Look at these things. Look at the hodag. He's awesome. And this is the moth, man. They're all squishy. I was doing like a really silly smile. Got some patches here. Stickers. Hey, not too bad. How are you? Good, man. See anything you like, let me know, okay? All right, thank you. And they even got a Stay Puft marshmallow shirt. And, yeah, look, and there's the, I don't know if that would be the back or if that's a totally separate one. It's very cool. Yeah, it's picking up. It's picking up with people. It's going to get crazy here today. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to move in an hour, but good time. Good time. Yeah, check it out. What's happening, buddy? What's going on, man? Not too much. Merry Christmas. They live. We just watched that video the other day. See, it's all about people watching. Check that out. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> here, right here, is the historic Low Hotel, which the Mothman statue should be right over here somewhere, if I'm correct. But yeah, right down there. the Low Hotel. Heck yeah. Oh, check him out. Look at all the, you got the cosplay. Yeah, yeah, there's all kind of stuff going on today. Yeah, statue should be over there, I think. It's been a while since I've been down here. And the official, the official Mothman Museum is right here. Of course, today there's gonna be a line like crazy to get in there. Again, if the festival's not going on, you can come down here and walk right in. You can have this whole place to yourself and see everything there is. But yeah, they have all kind of, you can get your shirts in there. Uh, and they ha yeah, there's a museum in there as well. You can have, they have all the old postcards, old, just facts about, about what happened in Point Pleasant. So pretty cool. And I think they should have a Mothman like hanging from the ceiling. But yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go stand in line that's a big line. The Mothman uh, statue is right down there. So yeah, we'll get up. I guess that's the only way um, is to go stand in line to get that picture for you. Another shot from the low hotel. All right, we have gotten a little closer. I think we've been standing in line, I don't know, for about 15 minutes now, maybe 20 minutes to get up to the statue but we are next i'll get a close look up for you and we'll touch the butt but here right there is the mothman statue pause it read it the red eyes oh that sun's bright flaws and if you go around the back, you guys watch Hunter Hunter? You go around the back. There. 
is his butt that everybody touches. So, got to touch the butt. <laughs> and they leave him offerings as well. So, yep. Yeah. So, there's the next in line to touch the butt of the Mothman. But, yeah, let's uh, continue looking around. There's the Bally Raven over there. Look, the eyes on top of the window looking out. Oh, yeah. That's cool. And I think there was a, yeah, there's a mural, the Mothman Museum behind, uh, behind the tent on the wall, along with over there, the Mothman Museum of Point Pleasant on the building. But check this display out here. This is pretty neat. Look at that. That's, uh, that's pretty wicked cool. Oh, yeah, look at the crowd. There's the Fresno night crawlers right there. Very cool. Yeah, they were at Squonkapalooza in Johnstown with their awesome art here. There's your crew right there. All right, and where are you going next, you said? 13th hour, which is October 8th in Columbus, Ohio. Okay, awesome. Everybody look out for him. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. All right. We'll talk to you later. Have you listened? Do you Here's listen to the boys. I know who you are, man. <laughs> I know who I you are. I didn't have to do the whole spiel. Nope, I love it. Nope. Uh, but I'm here. Good. I'm here. Having the dream. Were you guys, you guys, you were a Squonkapalooza, right? Were you a Squonkapalooza? No. I seen your shirts around then. There was like five or six people wearing your shirts. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Here. It's a it's a zine that we created. Take okay. that. It's on uh, Gray Barker. Have you heard of it? He's a no. paranormal uh, investigator. Okay. Um, and he investigated like the Flatwoods Monster and Veggie Man and Mothman and. I tell you. Uh, flat, Flatwoods Monster, that's my all-time cryptid. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. I was there in 2002. Yeah. The Flatwoods, uh, they had their it was a, a party for them. You know, birthday party. Yeah. As far as I know, it was the last time they let anybody up onto the site. Really? Frank Fraschino was there and Stanton Friedman was there. Wow. And I got I got a picture of them both and they both signed. That's super So cool. yeah, especially, it was awesome meeting Stanton Friedman. And, uh, yeah, Frank Fusino, he was down to earth, but yeah, yeah uh, Stan Friedman up there, that so was awesome. Cool. And I, that's, I think that was the last time, but that's what we were told anyway, yeah. that no one else was going to be allowed on that property up, up to the site. So yeah, yeah, very awesome. But well, yeah, that's, that's that's awesome that you're here. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just gonna say, is this your podcast right yeah. on there? Okay. There you go, right there. In case you don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, good seeing you guys, man. And probably some of the coolest stickers you'll see around. How's it going, everybody? And here he is. He even got the outfit. I seen you in Squonkapalooza, man. Good to see you again. How you been, man? How you been? I can't complain. That's all right. It's crazy here, but you know that's what we're here for. Busy, man. <laughs> How long did it take you to get here? Uh, we're coming from Columbus, so just under two. Okay, hours. I'm a Youngstown, so three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> so, yep. I'll actually be back because I forgot to buy some off you last time, but I'll be back. I'm gonna walk around. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Good seeing you, man. Yeah, a lot of vendors out today. The moth, the myth, the legend. So it's cool when it's cool when you go to some of these shops. You know, like this festival's all Mothman. So there's all the cryptids, but the the, the amount of 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 uh, different kind of of Mothman art is is awesome. But <laughs> look at the line, dude. Look, the line, that's for the Mothman Museum. It goes all the way down there. And it's probably wrapping around a little bit, but it goes all the way down. And uh, yeah, there's that mural. Here's some more, uh, here's some more. Here's a historic, that's a cool sign. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been down here, but pause it, read it. And there's another one over here. So pause it, read it. Yeah, but I do I do like that mural. Uh, again, though, if it's not a f the festival, you're not waiting for anything. You can go right into all these places. So, yeah, there's the Mothman statue up there. 
The low hotel in the background. Yeah, look at the line to try to get into the museum. So in this tent, you got a lot of the authors of a lot of the books. So that's cool that they got them under the tent. Yeah. Hey, what's happening, man? How you been? How are you? Good, good, good. Love your shirt, man. Thank you, man. You want a Pepsi? <laughs> just, just one Pepsi. Yeah. Because that's the skate. That you always hide. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I, that's what everybody says to me. How you doing? All the books. Her and her boyfriend were down in New Orleans. And this guy was like, There's the frog man. Festival's coming up pretty quick next year, but it'll be pretty quick. Man, how you guys doing? Yeah, how are you? Good, good. That's a nice drawing right there. Wow. This person? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll take over. Yeah, I think you stop by. Absolutely. You have a good day, sir. Hey, did you get your hat? Yeah, those are awesome drawings, man. Yeah, there's the mural on the side right there, and here's the Valley Raven Outpost. Pretty cool art here, I was noticing. The Meta Zoo. Here's some moth floss. That's cool. And the big red eyes. <laughs> Very cool. It's awesome. So I'm guessing like this end part is like where all the food vendors are. It seems like that anyway. Yeah. Wicked cool shaved ice. All right. And look at that, the marshmallow man. Oh, we might have to go in there and check that out. But I hear music, so not always a good thing. But yeah, check it out. There's the marshmallow man. How cool is that? And Slimer. <laughs> check it out. Even got the slime. That's great stuff, though. <laughs> uh, very cool. Yeah, check it out. And we got the Ghostbuster sitting back there. What's happening? All right. Look at that. Who are you going to call? <laughs> very cool. Here's... Uh, the backside of Frank and Lola's hot dogs. I was sad, then I saw food. That's usually the case. There's the squash, has a hot dog. Is he walking his dogs? I guess so. Little spaceship up there with the tacos. There's the front of the low hotel again, but look at the line now for uh, the Mothman. Statue. Back, back yeah, there's the front of it. I don't know. I think on the other side. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, I think on the other side is where it said, yeah, right there. The hotel neon. Wow. Yeah, we'll go down here. I think this is the state park that's over here. Um, and there's some other murals. We'll get away from the crowd for a little bit, but there's some murals. Uh, you can see one over there right now. We'll go down by the water. But yeah, check how busy it is now, man. Oh, there are more vendors over here too by the water. Wow. <laughs> Moth, Mothman Festival banner. Yeah, there's a uh, mural over there, obviously. Drawn about the history of uh, Point Pleasant.
Yeah, I like these murals. I think there's there's more. I'm try. I, I'm, I'll try to find them before. I know there's a Mothman mural. We've seen a Silverbridge mural. There's a Mothman mural. Uh, there's some other statues around, uh, but the water's over here. So we'll we'll check this area. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, here's the other murals. So I thought. Yeah. Right over there. Let me show you. Let me show you some of them. It goes all the way. It's it's the whole wall is covered with them. But the history of Point Pleasant. Yeah, and there's a big one over there. Shows the scene. That's probably the Ohio River right there. It goes all the way down the wall. It's hard to see now because of all the vendors here, but um, yeah, you have to check it out one time when the festival isn't going on. <laughs> Rust Belt Monsters. Oh, and here's their, here's their tent here. So yeah, there's, I like that, check that out. I always, Fresno night crawlers, man. They're they're always cool. Really neat. Yeah, there's their shirt. Set up right in front of the mural. How's it going, man? I'm all right. How are you? Good, good, good. What's happening, buddy? Not a whole lot, man. How about you? Ah, uh, just enjoying the day. Enjoying the day. day. Yes, I, 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 yes I, it I, is. I don't think we could have asked for anything better. No, it's a nice day out today. Not too hot, not too cold. You want to come over here and see the water? Chukacabra. Oh, that one's cool. Oh, my yeah. That's funny. I like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look right out there. You got the two uh, two tugs coming in. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Here's those statues I was talking about, uh, following the mural. Yeah, see that's one big mural. It goes all the way down. It's like the whole scene. That's very, very cool. Chief Cornstalk. And Andrew Lewis. That was another, there's another story that you can delve in a little bit more too because uh, I think Chief Cornstalk supposedly put a curse uh, on this area as well so goes with the whole uh, Point Pleasant being just just plagued <laughs> at that time yeah that's a cool mural yeah, you can follow that pretty far down. Uh, it's a river, river walk. It just explains the story. I think that's as far as we're going to go this way. It's a white owl up there. Or is it the Mothman? <laughs> Super group hugs. Passing this, I thought these were pretty cool. How's it going, man? Hey! Doing good. Yeah, he's pretty neat. Nice. So you're the artist? My wife's Form? the artist. Wife's the artist? Okay. Yeah, those are neat. I like those. Thanks. Yeah, I like the style. Wow, those are pretty sweet. 
There's the Flatwoods Monster right there showing some love. <laughs> All right there. Flatwoods and All right, yeah. Tell her, tell her great art. I like that style. Thanks. All right. Have a good one. You too. So if you come to this festival, if you look to the left of me, that is the line for the ATM <laughs> machines. Uh, I, this service isn't that great out here, as far as like using, as, as far as like using credit cards and stuff like that. So it's a lot of places are cash only. Um, hence the line for the ATM. But they got to be out of money pretty soon, right? How crazy! But I was just looking. This isn't the Mothman mural, um, but it's a mural. Um, about the Point Pleasant Register. It was the paper that they put out. Look, red-eyed creature reported in West Virginia. They saw red eyes. Mysterious Mothman still at large. What is that? Yeah, November 16th, 1966. So yeah, that's I, I can't back up too far, I don't think, because of the sunlight. Nah, that should be all right. Hold on, that sun's blaring down. But yeah, there's that. Uh, that's the uh, <laughs> selfie spot right there. But yeah, cool mural, right? Very cool. I want to ask you about a promo card. I'd like to tell you all about it. All right. Enjoy. This time it's the Mothman Festival because you were a Squonkapalooza, right? Squonkapalooza. Yep. Frogman. Yeah, I'm waiting for that one. I haven't been to that. This, this will be the second one You're coming up. Yeah, All right. I'm from Youngstown, so yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna be at that one. I seen somebody posted on Instagram. It might have been you guys. We'll be bending there. Yeah. So, so we just got asked this week that they want us to come for the next. Awesome. Week, so. Awesome. Um, we went out there for the first one and just passed out promos, but we didn't have a mood. Oh, okay. They saw our promo for their show, and they were like, hey, why don't you come and join the party? So awesome. Lucky. Yeah, I'm looking lucky. forward to that one. Hey, looking forward to that one. All right. Thanks. Take care. Check, check this costume out. How awesome is that? That's awesome. That's very awesome. Wow. I think over here is Cryptid Comforts. There we go. I know you've seen her before in my other videos. Hey, how are you? Good. Get, when'd you get in here Friday? Yesterday? Oh yeah. Did you? Yeah. Busy? Doing good? Huh? Doing good? Be better nice if, day. Uh, it's a nice if day. I can take credit cards. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, well. You didn't read the address, so I was telling Mindy, I was like, yeah, I was like, it's, it's like a lot of places are probably only cash. Over yeah, there. I mean, the ATM, there's a line. I know. There there's a line there. probably longer the at the ATM, ATM than the Mothman. The ATM last year ran out of cash. That's what somebody else was saying. There was a couple yeah, of Yeah, so we had this problem last year, but it's worse this year. So. Okay, all right. Yeah, I think it checks, check, it checks for that would zip me over there, too. But, yeah, but yeah, you would think. Yeah, you would think. So, well, so, some worked, some didn't over there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you would figure over here. Yeah, I mean, here it's way worse than Catchburg because in Catchburg there weren't that many people. Yeah. It's just so many people. Yeah. They're all trying to be on the internet. Wow. Yeah. It's overwhelming. Yeah, hopefully it gets better then for you. I don't know. Who will see you around? Good seeing yeah. you here. <laughs> Not right now. We can try, yep. but it hasn't been working. Oh, I didn't see these catnip toys. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, I, got I, I like this. I might have to pick one of those up. Awesome. Yep. She's at a lot of the events. Cryptid Comforts. And I think Squonkapalooza. And we found... The real Mothman right here. You enjoying the festival? It's all about you today. All about you. <laughs> all right, thanks. Crazy busy here. 
still at the Mothman. Hey. Hey. Hey, how you been, man? How Good, how are you doing? Not too bad. You were just you were just in Mansfield. Now you're here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's, what? Four hours? It's not, it takes, I live in Youngstown, Ohio, oh, yeah. so it's, it's uh, three and a half hours. It took me, so. Not too bad. Yeah. I seen you were at Cedar Point. Yes. The yeah, opening I, yeah. night of so, all weekends. Yeah. That was, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, which one you like better, though? Knobles or, or Cedar Point for the, hall, for the Halloween? Now, I've never officially been at to the, the Knobles Halloween. I went there okay. on went there on Sunday and found out they they close at 5 on Sunday. Ah, okay, okay. But yeah. I'm going to try to try to make it to Knobles this year if I can. I'm trying that yeah. Yeah, I love that's my favorite amusement park. Knobles and Waldemere. I oh, I love Waldemere. So yeah, I love Waldemere. Jen here come with you today or no? No, I'm here I'm here by myself okay. today. Solo. Dude, it's what time did you get here? Uh, just been, just got here. Okay, it's busy. It's busy. It is oh, busy. busy. Check that out. How cool is that? Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty rad. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I think uh, I think I'm gonna walk around a little bit more. And as you can tell, it is insane, crazy, full force. But if you come to this festival, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, everybody's setting up. They're not open. You can walk around. You can catch vendors setting up and stuff and still see stuff. Saturday, this is the day where it's just it it's it's crazy this is what it is if you come on sunday it's kind of both of them people are tearing down a little bit the crowd's not as big uh but why not come saturday man see this see this festival in full force but yeah it's, it's crazy all right so i think that's it for the video for me anyway this goes on i don't even know what times people start packing up and leaving maybe maybe four or five i'm not real sure um but obviously i couldn't show you everything i tried to show you some of the cool stuff some of the uh some of the vendors um but a lot of the shops were open i didn't go into they were just you're gonna be waiting in line um forever to get in you've seen the lines for the mothman statue for the mothman museum um all i can suggest if you want to come out here and check those and like actually have time to it you know enjoy uh come here when the festival's not going on you can get right up to everything but this is what it's all about uh celebrating mothman here in point pleasant today is the biggest day i believe of the festival so yeah pretty fun there's that where we started welcome to point pleasant west virginia i think everybody's getting tuckered out I see a lot of people sitting down it wasn't really that bad today it's, it's it was warm out but not like not crazy hot but again wish i could you know have a have a six hour video and show you every possible thing in detail but i can't um but i want to thank you for coming on today's adventure i hope you liked it i hope next uh next festival they have i'll see you out here as well um but hit the like button hit the subscribe button and until i see you on the next adventure wherever that may be better malange i got a little treat for y'all Ooh. huh i got a little treat i mentioned early on in the video about the tnt area that that was like that was ground zero for the mothman that was this the tnt area was 
where kids used to hang out and, you know, canoodle and, and do things like that. Um, it's a little busy today. It is a little busy today, so it's not as, uh, it's not as like urbix as it could be, but nonetheless, I'm still going to be able to show you one of the igloos, maybe two of them. Uh, as you can see, they have tours today. Um, so, uh, again, not as urbix as it could be, but if you come out here when nothing's going on, um, it'll, you'll, you'll get that, you know, more eerie feeling to it. And here we are. This is one of them. They're scattered throughout. There's a bunch of them that, that are scattered. Um, yeah, again, I don't know how much you're going to see now. It's dark. In World War II, they uh, stored dynamite and ammunition in these bunkers. These are cement igloos, just all scattered everywhere. Yeah, not too much light in here right now, so I'll keep it on there, but let me get back here. Yeah, we're in a big igloo. We're in a big igloo over there. <laughs> There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them all around. So, little treat today. Got all the tags. Yeah, how cool is that, huh? Cryptids of the corn. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, wow. Look at that. Hey, turn around. Crazy. Yeah, that is awesome. And there's a bunch of these domes all over the place. I'm, I may walk down to another one and show you one more. Um, but yeah, this is it's a long dirt road or long uh, road, maybe about a mile and a half off the main drag, and you come down this road another mile and a half, and uh, here, Laney, let's get you right here. Take this path, and there should be more down there. I might go to one more. Matter of fact, let's do that. Let's walk a little bit. I'll meet you down at the next one. Look at that. Right, here's one more here this will be the last one I take y'all to always like the tags look at that right there that's neat so yeah every town every city had that little place that kids would go to the you know, you know, and uh, this was one of them. Yeah, look at this. I'll stand in the middle. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is the TNT area. Look at that, Mothman. Sweetness. But yeah, this is the TNT area uh, that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So let's go out here and I'll do another outro, I guess, kind of. Yeah, I'm not going to walk down uh, to any more. Like I said, they're they're scattered all throughout here. But uh, so there was two. There was two I took you to. Nice little, nice little surprise ending, I guess, to the video. But uh, 
yeah real easy i mean you have yeah you do have to hike to them a little bit but they're not far unless you go way out and try to venture in a because some of them are some of them are pretty sketchy these first two are pretty decent shape but yeah again uh glad i could show you those i didn't think i was going to come out here but i was like ah you know what let me go out there and, and, and uh, show them a couple but yeah hey again thanks for coming on today's adventure hit the like button hit the subscribe button share the channel and until i see you on the next adventure wherever that may be better my life